Let me begin with uh, a couple of lovely verses at the beginning of the 115th Psalm. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory, because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the Gentiles say, where is their God? But our God is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. You know, as I look over my little life and I realize how many times it seemed I made a misstep or took a wrong turn and somehow God turned it for good. Just this last week, I was going to check up on a, an order. I was providing a fish dinner for uh, 50 guys in prison. And I, I headed down to this town about uh, two hours away and uh, they, I found out they had two different restaurants of the same company, and I went to the wrong one, or at least I thought it was the wrong one. But I actually ended up uh, meeting this lovely lady, Maria. She and her son had both spent time in prison, and then um, this manager of this restaurant had shown her kindness and had hired her, and he would send her a Bible verse every day, text her a verse every day, and had the joy of seeing her saved and then seeing her son brought out of prison uh, when it seemed that there was no hope of him being paroled and he was working there with his mother. And we had this wonderful time of fellowship together. And I said, well, was it a wrong stop? I don't think so. The Lord had me there to give her a little word of encouragement, a little extra tip and uh, a book to read. And uh, she's become a dear friend. But it was only by my foolishness in not checking and coming to the right restaurants. And so this so often happens. And one of my favorite stories is in um, this little book that I was able to compile some years ago called uh, God is Faithful. And it's in the first chapter, it's the story of the Logans. Brother Wallace Logan and his family served the Lord in Chavuma in Zambia. They lived there, of course, in the days long before uh, airplanes and a lot of other uh, time-saving devices that the missionaries may have access to now. He had an old GMC truck and they had seven children and uh, there was very little schooling around and so they would take their children up to a boarding school, a Christian boarding school, which was 1,200 miles away, Sakeji School. And uh, they would make this journey twice a year on these horrible roads, dirt roads, full of potholes, all sorts of dangers. And uh, he would have some spare parts because there was nothing around there uh, for, for help. Well, anyway, they were, they were heading up towards the school and they were in the middle of nowhere. It was a very hot day and the truck stopped. And um, Wallace Logan opened the hood, checked around, and sure enough, discovered that the fuel pump had died. Well, he had a fuel pump, and he went back and checked the parts. Unfortunately, they had given him the wrong part, and it wouldn't fit in his truck. Just about then, they could hear the sound of another vehicle approaching, and they discovered that it was, in fact, a well-known agnostic, an associate of theirs. I think uh, worked for one of the mining companies or something like that. And, uh, and he came around and stopped and said, well, what's the problem? And Wallace explained that uh, the fuel pump had died and the part that he had was the wrong part. And he said, well, listen, before you take your family out into the jungle like this in the middle of nowhere, you better make sure you've got the right parts. Now he says, I've got a part for my truck, but it won't fit for yours. I think his truck was a Ford maybe. And uh, so he said, uh, sorry, I can't help you. And he trundled off down the road. And after a little bit, they heard him coming back again. And he said, you know, I figured we might as well try my part anyway and see if it fits. And so he got out his part. And what do you know? It wasn't a part for his truck. It was a part for Wallace Logan's GMC. <laughs> and the atheist said, uh, man, I... I could use a little bit of Logan's luck. And Wallace Logan said, you don't need Logan's luck. You need Logan's God. 
Why should the Gentiles say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. Aren't you glad that what God is pleased to do is to meet the needs of his people? to take us up in our weakness and failure when the twists and turns of life come, and to realize that the battle is not to the strong, the, the race is not to the swift. Very often it's in our weakness and failure that somehow the Lord takes even our wrong turns, going to the wrong restaurant, and says, here, I, I, I didn't want you to miss this lady. I wanted you to meet her and minister to her. And so I let you use your GPS, your global positioning satellite, instead of your God positioning satellite, because I actually wanted you to be here for this little word of encouragement. God help us to rest in his love, to cooperate with him in his purposes, and to realize that we're here so that the Gentiles won't ask, where is their God? Because they will see God at work in our hearts and in our lives, doing whatever he pleases.